A little, a little guy on the floor, handcuffed. It was disgusting. It's really, really disgusting. A child in Statesville, North Carolina, was arrested in school the other day, and what you just saw was his mother describing the experience of watching her son being detained and arrested by the police officer. Now, the footage you're about to see can be a bit upsetting, but the mother and child both stated that they wanted people to see the footage so that everyone could see exactly what they went through. You ever been charged with a crime before? You ever been charged before? Okay, well you're fixing to. But you don't spit here. He's gonna get charged. So, if you, my friend, are not acquainted with the juvenile justice system, you will be very shortly. Was that necessary? Yes, unfortunately. Seven. Seven years old. That boy was seven years old. That was a seven-year-old autistic boy who was being held and detained for 38 minutes on the ground, by the way, for spitting. He threw a tantrum and he spit, which I think is not fairly uncommon for being seven years old, especially seven-year-old with autism. But apparently it's illegal now if you're a child to misbehave in any way, especially if you are disabled and especially if you are a child of color. Now, the officer that was detaining the child did issue a statement saying that he was detaining the child for the child's safety and that he was doing it in the only way he was trained and therefore knew how, which brings up a whole other argument about how our police are trained to handle anyone, even children. However, I'd make an argument that common sense in detaining a seven-year-old might override your training a little bit, but clearly, as you can see in the video, he was getting off on a power trip against a seven-year-old autistic boy. And it all boils down to the fact that we treat our elementary age children like they're adults. They're being detained and arrested as adults. They're being applauded for acting like adults. You see it all the time in the news, these heartwarming frame stories about children raising money for families' medical bills to cancel the student lunch debt at their school. These are adult issues that children should not be thinking about. We have to stop treating them and applauding them like adults. They need to be kids. They need to not worry about finances. They need to not worry about being arrested for throwing a tantrum. Listen, if you really want to protect the kids, culture war narratives are not the answer. Gay people are not your enemy. Critical race theory is not your enemy. This kind of stuff is your enemy. This is the kind of stuff you should be fighting. But this is the kind of stuff you'll never see in the mainstream media on the right. You'll never see them condemning cops. You'll never see them condemning cop training. They just fight for their culture war narratives don't fall for it. This is the stuff we need to worry about. Thank you so much for watching. If you got something out of this video, please like it, share it, consider subscribing to the channel. We are new here at The Breakdown, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.